didn't know if you guys could tell on the video, but we were just ripping it. And I need to get my catch can on, like, before we did all this ripping. I'm surprised we didn't catch it on fire. Look at all the oil. Look at all of it. Like, Board it's soaked. Oh, like, how did we not? This is so dangerous. But, yeah, no more ripping. But we've been messing with for a few hours to get rid of the boost cut. And we finally did. That is so much oil. That's a lot. Wow. Well, I had to make my own catch can. Put a little vent in it. Two hoses going to there. Definitely helped. Went out ripping. And there's no oil. No oil. Well, I got a uh, another Skunk 2 4 bar in the mail today. Just plugged it in, changed it in the tune, it started right up. So I guess somehow we had four bad sensors the other day, which just doesn't make any sense to me. So the benefit of this is now I could run over 10 PSI and I won't hit boost cut every second of my life. Because it's very hard to get this car to go without hitting boost cut. Took Matt for a few rides yesterday put the catch can on so we weren't blowing oil um and i have it on the manual boost controller right now dialing it in but second gear doesn't hit boost cut and then third gear hit boost cut but then i let out of it and hit it again we got a little pull out of it be nice though once this is all tuned with this sensor and then i can make as much boost as i want safely so I put the other map sensor on that I got in the mail, but the tuning's too far off. It's hitting uh, protection because it's too rich when it goes into boost. Uh, so I put everything back to how it was. Headed home now, see if I can do a real rip real quick. Second gear. Doesn't hit boost gun second. But there's just nowhere to do this either.